This video will show you how to replace the remote control module in your Champion Inverter. This video can be used for the following models. Make sure the engine switch and fuel valve are in the off positions. For this remote module replacement, you will need a short Phillips screwdriver. And make sure you keep track of all the hardware as we disassemble to make it easier to reassemble. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the rear panel and disconnect the spark plug cap before beginning. Step 1. Remove the three Phillips screws on the exhaust side handle, and use a flathead screwdriver if needed to pry apart the handle. Then remove the two Phillips screws from the side panel, and remove the two lower bolts with a 10mm socket. Then remove the two upper bolts with a 10mm socket to fully remove the side panel. Step 2. Remove the three Phillips screws from the battery side handle, and disconnect the handle. Then remove the fuel cap and use a pair of pliers to detach the fuel cap chain. Remove the four bolts holding on the top panel using a 10 mm socket and remove the top panel and replace the fuel cap. Step three, remove the four bolts that are holding on the fuel tank with a seven mm socket and use a pair of pliers to carefully detach the fuel vent line. Step four, remove the two Phillips screws from the battery side panel and remove the lower bolts with a 10 mm socket and open the side panel like a door. Then remove the two lower bracket bolts with a 7 mm socket and the two upper bracket bolts with a 10 mm socket. Set the control unit and battery housing to the side and undo the wire clip above the recoil to loosen the wires. Then use a Phillips screwdriver to disconnect the black battery lead. Step five. Remove the four bolts holding the front panel to the side support brackets with a 10 mm socket, two on each side. Then remove the two lower bolts from the front panel with a 10 mm socket. Step six, reposition the fuel tank as needed and gently pull back the front panel to locate the remote module and make sure not to put too much tension on the fuel line or any wires. The module is a small black box with wire connectors, roughly two and a half by three inches that is held on by two small Phillips screws. Note the orientation of the remote module, then carefully detach the three wire connectors, and using the short Phillips screwdriver, remove the two Phillips screws to remove the remote control module. Step seven, take the new module and replace it in the same orientation as the original, and tighten the two Phillips screws to hold it in place. Then firmly replace all wire connectors until they snap into place. Now follow these steps to reassemble your unit. Ensuring that no wires are being pinched, replace the front panel and tighten the four bolts on the top of the front panel, two on each side bracket. Then replace the two lower bolts on the front panel. Fit the wires back into the wire clip, reconnect the black battery lead, and reposition the control unit and battery housing. Replace the two lower and two upper bolts to secure the housing in place. Then close the side panel like a door and replace the two lower bolts and two Phillips screws. Reposition the fuel tank and tighten the four fuel tank bolts with a seven mm socket and reattach the fuel vent line. Snap the top panel into place with the fuel spillway pointed away from the power panel and tighten the four bolts. Then replace the fuel cap chain and tighten the fuel cap. Replace the battery side handle and secure with the three Phillips screws. Then replace the exhaust side panel, tighten the two Phillips screws, the lower bolts, and the two upper bolts. Reattach the remaining handle and secure with the three Phillips screws. And lastly, replace the spark plug cap and rear panel to complete the reassembly. When finished, follow the wireless set button steps in your operator's manual to reprogram your wireless remote to the inverter. Make sure you read all the safety guidelines in your operator's manual. And for more help guides, visit the Champion Help Center at help.championpowerequipment.com.